Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss with the most acidic and basic strength tricks in the organic chemistry. While preparing for NEET any competitive examination, so while deciding acidic and basic character of the organic chemistry, the molecules which you have the acidic and basic character, students you have so many confusions in that. In today's session, no doubt at all, I am going to give you amazing tricks to decide acidic and basic strength. Before going for this today's session, I just want to mention today this is a score India's largest and uh, largest scholarship examination score. So, why it is largest scholarship examination in India? Because the scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees is for you depending upon your performance and in the description box link is there you all click it and you just enroll for that and you can sit at home and you can write this examination. This examination is purely online and based on the performance of the score examination performance you are going to have scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup and laptop and educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship. Violet in the description box link is there you all click it and you can write this score examination. And moreover still Diwali is on so Infinity Learn is giving a Diwali gift to you all NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack which contains 27 AITS examination, 20 full syllabus mock test and 25 topic wise PYQs and 3 physics chemistry biology books with video solutions on the app and performance reports and your assessments is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya. These many facilities nobody is going to give in India but Infinity Lane is giving for 5999 for Diwali gift. We are going to give you 50% off just apply YouTube 50 off is the coupon code and for that you are going to get 2999 50% slash. So violet in the description box the link is available you all click it and you can enjoy NEET 2025 preparation with this uh, rank booster test series pack. Violet will start with organic chemistry, acidic and basic strength. For an acidic strength, so an acid is a substance which donate H plus ions. So that let us say HEA is an acid, it donate H plus ion and it is going to give us its counter anion. This is called conjugate base. Acidity fundamentally it is acidity strength is directly proportional to the stability of conjugate base. That is the fundamental rule. You can use it anywhere organic or inorganic. It could be carboxylic acid or it could be phenol or it could be alcohol. So, how do you write this? Uh, apply law of chemical equilibrium Ka is equal to A minus and H plus and uh, HA. So, as Ka value increases H plus ion concentration increases. That is why we can say that acidic strength is directly proportional to Ka inversely proportional to pKa. pKa is negative logarithm of HA and also you can say the acidic strength is directly proportional to the stability of conjugate base what I mean to say and also is inversely proportional to the basic strength and so on and so forth. And for the basic strength base is a substance which can accept a pi uh, H plus ions or it can donate a lone pair of electron just like uh, a means you can say R NH2 when it accept a H plus you are going to get R N H 3 plus it is your conjugate acid. So, K B is equal to R N H 3 plus and R N H 2 and H plus. So, as K B value increases basic strength increases this is the fundamental aspect as far as the organic and equilibrium part is concerned. And here I just want to say basic strength is directly proportional to KB or inversely proportional to PKB. And also basic strength is directly proportional to the stability of conjugate acid and inversely proportional to the acidic strength and so on and so forth. Let us apply this same fundamentals for the acidic and basic strength. In general in the overall organic chemistry you can say the common order of acidic strength. Please do remember sulfonic acid is more 
एसिडिक देन कॉर्बाक्सिलिक एसिड्स और मोर एसिडिक देन फिनॉल्स इज मोर एसिडिक देन मिथेल अल्कोहल माइंड इट इज मोर एसिडिक देन वाटर देन अल्कोहल्स एंड एसिटलिन एंड अमोनिया एंड अल्केन्स and based on this you can directly get a question from the neat examination let us solve certain questions acidic strength is directly proportional to negative mesomeric effect and also negative inductive effect inversely proportional to positive mesomeric effect and a positive inductive effect so based on that you can calculate compare acetic acid chloroacetic acid and fluoroacetic acid you can see in the acetic acid positive inductive effect is there chloroacetic acid you have a negative inductive effect is there and fluoroacetic acid you have so much negative inductive effect is there as negative inductive effect increases acidic strength increases that is the reason why fluoroacetic acid is more acidic than chloroacetic acid is more acidic than acetic acid like that a simple question can be answered in a simple way if you look the question in the complicated way it is going to looks complicated when you talk about the compare to compare the acidic strength in this comparison you can have various groups and you have to check the effect of the various groups in acetic uh, propionic acid ethylene group is there negative inductive effect and acetylene group is there you have a negative inductive effect and uh, phenyl group is there more negative inductive effect as electron withdrawing effect is there acidic strength increases so based on minus i series the order of the acidic strength is 4 is greater than 3 is greater than 2 is greater than 1 like that every example is so 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 important everybody take a pen and paper and you can write down this and you can assure preparation for neat examination one more question here compare the acidic strength formic acid acetic acid propionic acid and tertiary butanoic acid a secondary butanoic acid and in that as uh, more negative inductive effect more positive inductive effect acidic strength is less so that you can say acidic strength 4 is less than 3 is less than 2 is less than 1 as the size of the bulkiness of the alkyl group increases positive inductive effect increases so that acidic nature decreases that is a trick in this question and also basic strength electron releasing group increases the basicity of amines while electron withdrawing group decreases the basic strength of amines so in the gaseous phase and the aqueous phase so if we talk about the simply alkyl substituted amines let us understand to determine the various the order of the basic strengths let us talk about here that to determine the basic strength of amines we have to consider the aqueous phase in the aqueous phase when you talk about this aqueous phase the priority should be given inductive effect also bulkiness of the group also hydration effect there are the three factors that decides the basic strength of the amines if the alkyl group is a methyl group it is going to give secondary is greater than primary is greater than tertiary is greater than ammonia if the alkyl group is a methyl group if the alkyl group is ethyl group it is going to be secondary is greater than tertiary is greater than primary than ammonia and this order is super important for neat examination it is directly given in the ncrt textbook my dear children and also let us talk about the phenol acidic strength when you talk about the substituted phenol acidic strength an electron withdrawing group increases the phenol acidic strength electron releasing group decreases the phenol acidic strength nitro methyl methoxy and chlorine what happen if nitro group is there it is a negative mesomeric effect and a negative inductive effect we consider negative mesomeric effect methyl group is there it has a positive inductive effect and uh, methoxy group is there it has minus i and a plus m we consider plus m effect and the chlorine it has minus inductive effect and very very weak positive mesomeric effect by considering all these things it increases the acidic strength and it decreases the acidic strength so the order of this is going to is greater than 5 is greater than 1 is greater than 3 is greater than 4 like that acidic strength however the question is complicated you can give the answer in a nice way and also acidic strength of carboxylic acid you can use the same logic positive mesomeric effect negative mesomeric effect and negative inductive effect by considering the 
mesomeric effect, inductive effect, this is going to be the order of the acidic strength of the given carboxylic acids. And also amines, electron releasing group increases the acid basic strength of amines and electron withdrawing group decreases the basic strength of amines. If you talk about the nitro negative mesomeric effect, methyl only positive mesomeric effect, OCH3 positive mesomeric effect and it is positive negative inductive effect. By considering this, this is the order of the basic strength of the given amines. So, that logic you have to considering and you are going to give the answer in a simple way. And also ortho effect, this is a very very important effect. It decides uh, the acidic strength of ortho substituted carboxylic acids. So, any ortho substituted carboxylic acid is more acidic than the any carboxylic acid and that could be a electron withdrawing group or electron releasing group because the steric inhibition of the resonance. That is the reason why any ortho substituted benzoic acid is more acidic than its corresponding meta and para or benzoic acids. And also you can see benzoic acid ortho hydroxy and meta hydroxy and para hydroxy here you can see ortho effect. Because of the ortho effect you are going to set ortho is greater than meta is greater than benzoic acid greater than para hydroxy benzoic acid. You can see this kind of things carboxylate ion is tangled with intramolecular hydrogen bonding. It is a super trick. This super trick you can use it ortho effect can be used anywhere in the carboxylic acids of ortho substituted benzoic acids. And also ortho nitro, meta nitro and para nitro. You can say expected is ortho is greater than para, but actual is ortho is greater than para, meta and so here expected is same as that of the actual one. So, there is no exception in this case. And also methyl group, ortho methyl, meta methyl and para methyl. In that case, you are going to experience the ortho effect. So, ortho methyl benzoic acid is greater than benzoic acid is meta is greater than para methyl benzoic acid. So, here ortho effect is going to be effective to decide the acidic nature of the benzoic acid. And also you can see some halogen is kept here let us say chlorine. In that case also you can experience the ortho effect ortho is greater than meta is greater than para is greater than benzoic acid. You see how awesome these orders are never and ever work on the by hurting on these orders rather you work on which effect is actually working and you can answer the questions. And also you can see nitro group phenolic nitro group this is an exception. What we are expecting ortho nitro phenol should be more acidic. But due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding ortho nitrophenol, what we expected here ortho greater than para greater than meta greater than phenol due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding, you are going to say ortho is less than para. So, this is a very, very, very important order as far as the neat examination is concerned. You all focus on this super, super awesome examples. And also you can see phenol methylated phenols again you can see electron releasing effect and plus I effect and plus hyperconjugation effect decreases this acidic strength of the phenol. Therefore, expected and actual is going to be the same phenol is more than meta methyl phenol para methyl phenol and ortho methyl phenol. And also you can see halogen is there with the phenols, you are going to get plus m effect and you are going to only minus i effect, here plus m effect or only minus i effect. And in this case the expected is the same as that actual, why because we are going to consider the halogens as a strong, strong, strong minus i effect. And also you can see aniline. Aniline is a base if it is electron releasing effect positive mesomeric effect is there and here meta positions only inductive effect is going to be operated and whereas here positive mesomeric effect. 
in this case you are going to expect the order as p o aniline and m and the actual order is also the same and also you can see aniline with a halogen it is also positive mesomeric effect and strong minus i effect and only strong minus i effect and you are going to have strong minus i effect this many effect you can see in this so aniline is more than para halo aniline then meta halo aniline ortho halo aniline is going to be the order for this basic strength of amines and also you can say nitro groups there is no hydrogen bonding don't expect like that so if there is no hydrogen bonding no exception comes in this case nitro group has strong minus i effect and nitro group has only minus i effect at meta position nitro group has strong minus i effect by combining this negative mesomeric effect decreases the basic basic strength of a uh, aniline so that we are going to get order aniline is more than meta nitro aniline is more than para nitro aniline is more than ortho nitro aniline is the least basic and also today we discussed about the basic nature and acidic nature fundamentals and their relative acidic natures and the basic natures and you all just follow these examples and the tricks that i have given you understand and you make a note of it and you can do the best in the neat examination all the best my dear students please like this session share with your friends and subscribe to infinity land neat channel thank you very much thank you